part two of the video of the Silverado polishing and doing everything we gotta do to it. Let me turn the lights on. So I'm gonna be wet sanding, probably half from half down. Definitely I will be wet sanding every part where the trim was. Um, thinking about wet sanding the whole truck just to give it that deep, deep black look. You can see how beat up it is. Got scratches, dirt everywhere. So I'm looking to, to have that deep black. Like when you come up to the truck, I want you to Thing you can jump in the paint, you know. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. So I'm thinking about wet sending the whole truck and then repolish everything. But as right now, we're gonna start on that part. All right, so so far we got both doors wet sanded with 1500. Um, I came over here and I did a, a quick polish just to see how it's going to look. Um, I'm still debating on West sending the whole truck, the top. Um, I really don't have to, don't need to, but I really want to, but I don't want to. Uh, so some tips when you're doing the West sanding, you don't want to get too close to edges. That's why you see gaps in here and around here. Because if you wet sand close to the edges, you have to polish it. And then if you polish too close to the edge, you're taking the risk that you're gonna eat through the clear coat and you're gonna burn the edges. So I try to stay away from all the edges, everything. Um, and I decide just to wet sand from here down. Um, I kind of try to stay away from the carriage lines and stuff. Not on there, but oh, I don't think I'm gonna wet sand it. I don't know. I will go with the flow. Uh, so I'm about to do the other side. I'm gonna wet sand this side and uh, continue. After that, wet sand. This side, there's two doors. Then I'll probably decide if I want to do the hood and the bed. I'm definitely not doing the the top, the roof. I'm not doing the roof. I'm still debating between doing the trunk and the bed. So let's go.